Swim coaches are going to have to be creative if their students are going to be able to continue learning to swim in the coming months of this pandemic. As TNT gets ready to phase in a return to normality, swim coaches are trying to innovate to keep their means of earning of an income alive. Michael Ramsing brings you the story. For now, this may be the new swimming technique for those who feel like a fish out of water. It's been weeks since swimmers could dive into the pool to practice their kicks and strokes. With the new normal heavily dictated by social distancing, how will coaches continue to train youngsters while keeping them safe from COVID-19? Early research or from early indication, the pool is one of the safer places to be in terms of actually in the pool, um, once the pool is treated properly, chemically. All right, um, but as we know, with any activity, with young teenagers or younger than that, you're going to have that level of interaction. Head coach and manager of Blue Dolphin Swim Club, Sean Puchet, believes the culture around the pool activities may put his swimmers at risk, more than the pool itself. He's suggesting smaller classes, shorter times, and practicing safe hygiene can be ways to get swimmers back into the pool once social distancing protocols are relaxed. Once the administrators and the pool operators put things in place, put policies in place, there's definitely room for forward movement. Um, the nature by which the sport operates may change slightly in the, in the short term. Head back, head back, head back, belly up. Vanessa Foss Odoro, who's a senior coach at the Tadpole School of Swimming, agrees with Sean, but she has anticipated bigger challenges because her students are very young. Swimming so is something that all parents want their children to do, at least most, those who could, you know, go out and do it. And I think eventually, after this scare, it was a very big scare, um, people will begin to realize that there are safety precautions they take and that the children can't come to swimming safely and that things, as I said before, will, will start coming back to some form of normalcy. While this time at home may be negatively affecting her little swimmers, Vanessa is also optimistic that COVID-19 will not have long-term effects. You think with swimming, like riding a bike, you don't really ever forget it. Once you start back and it becomes a routine again, you pick up pretty fast. Michael Ramsing, CNC3 News.